Lantern's Aura presents Aslintha, Episode 9, The Docks. Nobody's going to address the elephant in the room. I will. I mean the fact that Qualgon has people going after the keys at the same time as us? And at least one of them literally stabbed my father in the back. Yeah, that. So what do we do now? Well, we can't let the other side get in first, so we need to keep going after the keys. And with a little luck, we'll find the bastard that killed my father. Are you sure that's a good idea? Yes! Then I can bring my father's killer to justice, and we save the city at the same time. Right. So what's the plan then? We go to the harbor. What? The place with the giant sea monster? We already know where the dock's key is. So we just need to get there. We can't go if all the boats are gone. Going now is our best chance to get in before there's no more transportation. I really can't say this enough, but it feels great to be in a place where the very air isn't filled with sand. You know what's at the docks, right? Boats? Sand. <sighs> Rowan, I'm not an idiot. I know there's sand at a dock. Then how is it different? Well, it's not going to be nearly as hot. The sand isn't going to be everywhere. Sand gets everywhere, no matter where it comes from. What I mean is, it's not going to be blowing around us and getting stuck in all my clothes and face. Plus, an ocean is always nice. Except this one has a huge monster in it that's been destroying hundreds of boats, causing mass suffering, and that we're going to most likely have to fight. Yeah, except for that, Turgent. What's wrong, Rowan? Scared of water? Rowan, you can swim, right? Well... No, but that's not- You can't swim? No, but that's not why. I just didn't think about how we were actually going to get the key. You know, like the actual fighting part. You can't swim? You didn't think about the fighting part? No, I can't swim. I live in a desert. Stop smiling like that. Like what? Like you're going to push me into the water. I would never- I can't believe you would accuse me of such a thing. We all know you would. I can't believe you two think so lowly of me. For some reason, I don't believe you. Well, I guarantee that if it does happen, you'll never see it coming. How about we don't push me in, okay? It would be amusing. Hey! <laughs> Oh, gods. What happened here? I'm assuming that monster we saw on the map. What, what do we do? Find someone that can tell us about the island and get a boat. And how do you suggest we do that? Just go look around. Right. Split up. Right. Here goes nothing. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Why is another boat leaving? These morons are gonna get killed! What? 
Everyone, remain calm. The Knights of Orion oh God, are sending oh God, oh aid God. to the wounded. If your home is destroyed or you're wounded, please make your way to the medical center. Throw it! Tick! Oh my damned way. Throw it! <coughs> I got you, kid. I saw it. Virgin! Shit, hold on. Stop. Who is that? No idea, but I don't feel like standing around to find out. Wh whoever he is, he saves our asses. Let's just get you to the medical tent. Maybe we can get some information out of one of the healers while they check your head. Oh gods, we're wounded. Send him down on that cot at the end. Let me take a look at that cut. What was that thing? You're not from around here, are you? That's the Beast of the Isle. It used to live on the Isle of Sacrifice before it moved into the sea. What made it do that? Guards stopped feeding it prisoners, and I'm assuming it got hungry. What? There we go. You should be in the clear now. It looked a lot worse than it was. Why would the Look, guards- I would love to answer your questions, but I have a job to do. We have more injured people than I've ever seen, and not enough healers. If you want answers, talk to the guards outside. It looked pretty bad in there. Yeah. That was really bad. It looked like a war med tent, but most of those people weren't soldiers. They didn't stand a chance. Well, you better hope it's not just soldiers that will survive, or Turgeon will be doing the rest of this quest alone. Oh. Right. Look, there's the guards. And they're right next to the perfect ship. Excellent. Hello! My party and I are here on behalf of the Knights of Orion. We need to get to the Isle of Sacrifice to recover something there. And what do you want us to do about that? Well, we need a ship and a crew. And it looks like you have the perfect one right here. All stocked and everything. How convenient. Are you part of Grog's party? Who? Um, Grog, the best monster hunter in all of Aslintha? This is his boat. We're waiting for him so he can defeat the sea monster, as he's kind of the only one that can. But he's not here? Not yet. So you're going to turn down help from a party that is already here? Look, no offense, but your party looks like they would struggle with a shark attack, let alone this huge sea monster that we haven't even seen the entirety of. We were tasked by the Knights of Orion. I, I don't... Give a shit who hired you. You're not getting this boat. So, what you're saying is, is if we were part of this Grog's person's party, you would let us on the ship? Sure. Good. Where can we find Grog? He's hunting the ice giants that have turned up in the snow district. He's been up there for a while. I don't know exactly where he is. But if you do go looking and happen to find him... Tell him his ship is ready, would you? Sure. We'll let him know. You two heard all that? Yup. The snow district is a bit far, the exact opposite way than the desert. Makes sense. It feels like we're running around a lot, not getting anything done. That's how quests usually are. If they were easy, pay wouldn't be nearly as good. At least we won't have to fight that sea monster for a while now. But now we have to fight ice giants. Not if this grog guy does it for us. Sounds like his job is to defeat monsters. 
where ours is to just collect the keys. We don't have to fight anything. That's... that's true. Oh, this is great, actually. If we can get this grog guy to come with us, we might not have to fight at all. You're getting ahead of yourself. We have to find him first. Is this grog guy famous or something? Those guards seem to have a lot of confidence in him. I've never heard of him. Me neither. Oh, good. So we're looking for a person that none of us know who they are, or what they look like, in a district that none of us are native to. And we don't even know where exactly this person is in said district? Again, if it was easy. Sometimes I do wish it was just a little bit easier. I guess we don't have much of a choice, though. So it's decided? We're going to the snow district, finding who this grog is, and bring him back here. Yep. Also, there should be a key there, so we have to go eventually. Good. It's a bit of a walk. Let's get going. But first, we need to get out of these desert clothes and into some winter ones. I imagine it's about to get really, really cold. <laughs>